Hello there, it's Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at expletive sentences, like in the following examples. It is sunny and hot today. There was a problem. Here comes the rain. Let's get started. Grammatically complete sentences contain a subject, which generally takes the form of a pronoun, a noun, or a noun phrase. An imperative sentence, however, is written without its understood subject, which is you. Let's look at these examples. My best friend is a nutritionist. My best friend is a noun phrase. He works at a school. He here is the pronoun. Instead, eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Here is an imperative sentence, so you is understood. To identify the subject of a sentence, find the verb and then use it in a question beginning with who or what, as shown in the following examples. Mary works at a school. Verb, works. Who works? Mary. So the subject then is Mary. Eggs contain cholesterol. Verb, contain. What contain cholesterol? Eggs. So the subject is eggs. So let's look at it, there, and here then. Let's start with it. It is a pronoun and is followed by the verb to be and an adjective. Like in this example, it is cold outside. Cold is the adjective. It can also be used with the verb to be, plus an adjective, plus the verb, plus ing. Like in this example, it is nice being here with you. So, it is the pronoun, the verb to be is, adjective nice, and then we have the verb be, being, ing and then the rest. So it can also be used with times, like in these examples. It is five o'clock. It is Saturday. It can also be used for weather conditions, like it is sunny, it is warm. It is also used with distances. It is six kilometers. It is far. It can also be used with who? For example, on the phone, it is me, it is my friend. It can also be used with expressions, such as, it looks as if it will rain. It takes one hour to get to Ottawa. It seems absurd. It can also be used for the passive. The passive is the verb to be plus a past participle verb. Like in these examples, it is said she speaks good English. It was seen by a police officer. Now let's look at there. There means here as an adverb. For example, your pen is there. The second usage of there is as a pronoun, and there here has no meaning. For example, there is a pen on the table. It's the same as saying a pen is on the table. So we'll call it the dummy there. Dummy there needs the verb to be, plus a noun or a noun phrase. Can also be used with would, might, can, will, have, plus the verb to be. Or it can also be used with other verbs such as seen, happen, ten, plus the verb to be. There can also be used with other verbs but it gives a more literary feel, like in this example. Later, there came a truly marvelous painting. So let's look at how there can be used formally or informally. The first one is the correct way, like in this example. There are three pens on the desk, so we say three pens, and that's plural. So that's why we need are. There are three pens on the desk. And this is formally. 
and it is correct. However, some people say there is three pens on the desk informally. Even though the number is three, they use the singular form is. There is. So let's look at here now. We can use here as an exclamation, like here, let me hold it. Here can also be used as an adverb, and it is used when introducing something or somebody. Here is your pen. Your book is here. We use here plus the verb plus a noun or a noun phrase. For example, here comes the teacher. So the teacher would be your subject. Instead, with a noun phrase, here was a great civilization. Some sentences begin with an expletive, there, here, or it. Such a word occurs in the subject position, forcing the true subject to follow the verb. There were many books in the library we visited. So there is your expletive, where is your verb, and many books is your subject. A subject following the expletive it is often a clause rather than a phrase, like in this example. It is impressive that children learn to wait. It is your expletive. Is is your verb. That children learn to wait is your subject. In sentences beginning with the expletive there, the verb comes before the subject. The verb are is often hard to hear when it follows there. So be careful that you don't omit it. There are certain people with skill sets. So let's take a look at some examples. There are seven chairs around that dining table. It is the dean of the school who maintains the discipline. It is extreme bliss that has some reaching for another cup of tea. Here comes our new principle. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about this lesson, please post your question below the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And you may share the lesson if you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I see you next time with a new video lesson. Until next time, bye-bye.